In this video, I'll be showing you how to write highly relevant, accurate, SEO-optimized and readable articles using Perplexity Spaces, which is the newest feature of Perplexity. The best way to think about it is that it is similar to both custom GBDs and Notebook LM in that you are talking with sources. The main two pros to Perplexity Spaces is that you can talk to a lot of sources. The current limit is around 50. And also you get an additional benefit of Perplexity Search. And this becomes very powerful. So in this example, we will be using the same Does Agility Writer Pass a Detection keyword. What you first want to do is prepare your sources. So when you now go to Perplexity, go to Spaces, and this is a pro feature, Need to create a space, uh, mine is called the same as the keyword, does the GLT writer pass the detection, and then you need to attach the sources. And so right now, uh, the ones that are ranking, if we are disregarding the sponsored ones, are the GLT writer's own article as well as uh, three of my videos. So we'll take in these three one by one. So it was actually slightly easier with the notebook LM when you could just use the YouTube URLs as well as pasting the text. It's more complex with perplexity, I don't know why. So you have to manually prepare your files. I'll just call them 1, 2 and 3 because they're equally important, at least as far as this demonstration goes. Mm -hmm. This is number 3. Now you are adding the files just like so to the space. Okay. So now whatever you want to write here, you have this option web plus files and you can deselect either or both at the same time and uh, one of the most important things about uh, perplexity spaces is that you can assign an llm to your space so mine is using cloud 3.5 sonnet and you can you have a choice between these models here as far as custom instructions i'm actually i've been uh, surprised in a negative way because custom instructions as far as spaces go did not do well at least in my testing. So I'm resorting to just straight up prompting. And uh, the way it goes is that it's gonna use information from these sources here, and then it's gonna look things up on the internet, which again is a big advantage over Notebook LM. So let's fire up the first prompt, and all the prompts are gonna be in my free ChatGPT library. Search for 100 highly semantically relevant LSI keywords and 50 entities for the keyword does the GLC writer pass the added action. As you can see, first the three sources were checked, and then everything else okay this is still in progress lots of my videos <laughs> next up i will be asking perplexity space for the seo optimized outline for the same keywords and again it should first look at the sources and then at the rest of the data okay now even though i own two of the three sources i have attached let's do something for the information gain now search the web and find relevant data case studies and statistics regarding does the gc writer pass a detection and format in a helpful table as a final touch i'm asking the space to write an article using the lsi keywords above and the outline above and i'm attaching my sitemap as a links txt and we should be good to go so let's first go to markdown to html this is our article as you can see perplexity has decided to put the links at the end which is okay for such a small article so let's check readability first and this is grade 5 readability quite good let's now see the seo optimization score and the seo optimization score is 69 and mind you we have not used any of uh, the suggestions from neural writer so we asked perplexity to extract the entities from both our attached files and the web and as a final test let's use zero gpt so people have been asking me about zero gpt and why i don't use originality anymore i have stopped using originality I think their product is quite bad in that they constantly changing the algorithms, keep changing the model names, the models themselves. I've had an alarming amount of false positives with originality and zero GPT is just more stable and it's the best proxy for Turnitin, for example. So let's detect text. And this is roughly 85% human. So what we have here is an extremely readable article, SEO optimized, over 800 words. That passes as human reason, and this was all done by perplexity by using the sources and some custom prompts. And again, all of the prompts are going to be in my ChatGPT library down below. And also, if you want to write like a pro, I invite you to enroll in my helpful constant mastery course. 
Amazing, amazing bonuses. So almost $800 in value, free automation, free niche hunter course for custom GBDs. And for 97 bucks, it's just a no-brainer. Hope this was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.